While Mohammed Fahmi spent the day back in prison, his lawyers were working to have him released. At the center of that, the well-known human rights lawyer Amal Clooney. She spent the day here in Cairo meeting with top-level Egyptian officials. Clooney was in court yesterday when Fahmi was sentenced to three years in jail for spreading false news and broadcasting without a license. Fahmi was immediately led away to prison. His family and the lawyers have been barred from visiting him, and Clooney told me there are concerns about his safety. He's been very outspoken critic of the Muslim Brotherhood, and at the moment in Egypt there are many people in prison who are from that group, and therefore his physical safety may be in danger. Amid much international pressure over this case, Egypt's President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi said last year he'd consider pardoning foreigners convicted in Egypt once their court proceedings are complete. Clooney says with the verdict yesterday, it's time for Egypt's leadership to step in and pardon Fahmi, or at least deport him to Canada. But she says she needs help from the top, from Stephen Harper. What needs to happen now, in my view, is very high-level engagement um, for, by the government of Canada, and that means Prime Minister Harper engaging directly with President Sisi. Harper has sent President Sisi letters raising Fahmi's case, but his office won't give details about what was in the correspondence and when it was sent. Our government finds the decision of the Egyptian court very disturbing. Today, the defence minister defended the government's record taking aim at both the NDP and Liberals who want the Prime Minister to do more to secure Fahmi's release. It's easy for an opposition leader to stand up and um, with a megaphone, uh, but uh, uh, sometimes uh, a degree of forceful discretion is required in the management of complex consular cases. Amal Clooney says the papers have now been filed seeking a pardon or deportation for Mohammed Fahmi. But the man at the top, President Sisi, isn't even in Egypt right now to consider the case. Andrew? All right, thanks, Derek. Derek Stoffel in Cairo. The government has not confirmed that it has formally requested a pardon or deportation. In a statement, Ottawa said only that it will continue to raise the case with Egyptian officials at, quote, the highest levels. Clooney is, of course, doing the same. Here's more of Derek's interview with her on the fate of Mohamed Fahmi. Having witnessed the number of journalists in the courtroom yesterday, I think there is a, a lot of sympathy for them. And certainly anyone who studied the records in this case sees immediately that it's a, they were sham charges. There was absolutely no evidence. What does this verdict mean in terms of press freedom here in Egypt? We were appalled when we heard the verdict yesterday. You were there and you remember that the judge began his verdict by saying, well, uh, this isn't about freedom of the press because these people are not journalists. Well, uh, the prosecutor's closing speech focused on the fact that, well, any journalist who has video editing software must be intent on bringing down the state. I mean, it's a very dangerous message that uh, court will allow a, a journalist to be imprisoned on that basis. And um, we very much hope that, that it will be overturned. But there is a solution. We're not asking for something. We're not starting from a blank slate. We're saying, you have previously said, Mr. President, that you would pardon. We hope that will happen now. And then we've said also um, the Canadian government was informed at the time that Peter Greste was deported that Fermi would also be returned to Canada. Um, and that's what should happen now. Well, here we are. We're at this window where the judiciary has spoken. The Canadian ambassador and I are attending meetings to say, you know, please follow through now. Now's the time to act. This is really an urgent situation now where um, government intervention at the highest level and in a very persistent manner uh, will bring their citizen home, hopefully.